So today we're going to talk about the Black Plague and the somewhat recent discovery about the true nature of this pandemic, which is actually quite interesting because it relates to nutrition. So this pandemic roughly occurred in the year 1348. Now don't quote me, it's right around this period of time. It could happen a little bit before or a little bit after. But there were between 70 to 200 million people who died in that pandemic. And the discovery that they made was in an unmarked grave in the north part of London, where they dug up these skeletons. And they studied these skeletons, and they found a good handful of these skeletons had rickets. I don't know if you know much about rickets, but all you need to know is that is a vitamin D deficiency. They also found they had very bad teeth, which is also a vitamin D deficiency. They found they were anemic based on the bone composition. They also found a lot of injuries as if these people were in a war. And right around that time, there was a war. In fact, there was a, a war for a hundred years. So you have the combination of malnutrition and a war. That would create a perfect storm for a weakened immune system. I mean, think about it. If a child has rickets and there's a lot of kids that have rickets, the parents are also going to have a vitamin D deficiency because rickets is a severe vitamin D deficiency. You can imagine if you're that low in vitamin D, you're not going to have a good immune system at all because the vitamin D deficiency will create a susceptibility to infection. It also will lower the number of white blood cells. That's your army that fights off the infection. Also, it creates a weakness within the strength of your white blood cells. They're not able to create, generate the weaponry to defend themselves. So you send them to battle without the weapons and they all get killed. You also will have less control over inflammation, especially in the lungs. Now, this also relates to a pandemic that occurred in 1918 called the Spanish flu in which over, I think, 50 to 100 million people died. Now, what was interesting about this pandemic versus this one, there's some similarities. This one also peaked in the dead of winter in January, which is the time of the year where you had the least amount of vitamin D in the body. Also, you had a war, World War I. And in that war, you had a huge shift in what people ate. They had to preserve foods, and they started canning foods and boxing foods. And anytime you do that, you start dropping the nutritional levels big time. So you really didn't have a lot of fresh, nutrient-dense foods, especially the soldiers. And because this was a world war involving many different countries, you had many more people dying. And you also had a lot of malnutrition all over the globe. So my point about this pandemic was this also was related to malnutrition. I mean, take a look at COVID-19. The people that are dying are older and people with a weakened immune system. That's what we should be focusing on, just as much as wearing the mask, washing your hands. So if you wanted more information about how to boost a healthy immune system, check this video out right here.